Do you think in America voting should be compulsory? I think it should, but it's not going to happen because people won't even wear masks. If we were told to do something, at this point, exactly, f it, we wouldn't do it. Do you think America would ever accept mandatory voting? Definitely not. Why not? Because uh, Americans are lazy in general. America is the land of the free. People come here because it's a free place. And that it, includes the freedom to not participate? It, uh, yeah, pretty much. Do you think mandatory voting can happen in America? No, <laughs> I do not. I do not. I think that American values are like a toxic version of what freedom is. Isn't that what makes America great? It's not so great at the moment. Maybe Americans think it's impossible, but mandatory voting does exist in 22 countries, including one that's even drunker, crazier, and whiter than the US. I'm talking about Australia, where they've had it since 1922. It was quite a small step for Australians to think, well, we want the majority of people to be selecting our government. And that gives it greater legitimacy. So basically in Australia, you force people to exercise their democratic rights. That's right. Yes, that's right. I don't think people in Australia regard it as a particularly big deal. You've got to turn up on election day, which is a Saturday. You know, it might take you like 15 minutes and the Parents and Teachers Association will be there selling sausages. And that's where we get the term democracy sausage. Okay, for Americans, the term democracy sausage has had a bad taste since the Clinton administration. But for Australians, consuming chard intestine meat on bread has been a voting tradition since the 1940s. But what about the people who don't think a sausage sizzle is enough incentive to vote? What kind of punishment do you have to enforce to make it so that over 90% of people go and vote? What, jail time? Public spanking? You have to wear an I didn't vote sticker? Uh, it's a $20 fine. That's it? That's a, that's a bargain, I think. Look, there's big advantages in our system because the political parties don't have to get the vote out. And that means they don't have to appeal to the base. So you don't get the same sort of extreme ideological um, appeals. And so it makes our democracy, I think, more moderate. Doesn't that make the, your election process very boring? Oh, well, I, I don't, it doesn't make it boring. Look, I don't know that that's a problem. For me, what democracy means is that the majority of people participate. And I find the extent of voter suppression in the United States truly shocking. I don't understand how the Americans can call themselves dem a democracy at all. Damn, political science world star is gonna love this. But how do everyday Australians see it? I took a 25 hour flight and spent two weeks in quarantine just so I could talk to them myself in sunny Brisbane, Australia. What do you feel about the fact that voting is compulsory in Australia? I feel very proud that it is. And for people who don't want to vote, they should go and live somewhere else. Everybody has to decide and they are, it's mandatory to vote. So if the result doesn't go your way, you can't complain. If we lose, oh, we're sad, but at least we've had a chance to vote. And that's it, brother. Done. You should just do it. It takes five minutes. You just go in there, and vote, and get out. No time, no effort. Yeah. Just shut the f up and vote. Well, what do you guys think about mandatory voting in Australia? Nah, um, I think it's pretty bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, I'm not a fan of it. We don't care what we vote for. We just go in there, tick a few boxes, and then fingers crossed we get the right one. I don't yeah. know. Are you guys drunk right now? Yeah, we had yeah, a few beers before, a couple, beers, beers, yeah, a couple shots, so, pretty fucking Australian. Beer, beer, yeah, yeah. beer with brekkie, you know. Man, that is <laughs> Australian. But what, why do you think voting isn't mandatory in America? Oh, maybe, I mean... Yeah, now I rethink it, actually. Maybe there's a purpose for it. America, Australia, which one's doing better? <laughs> I feel like I'm a witness to cavemen discovering fire right now. Yeah, that's fair yeah, enough, yeah, actually, yeah. Even drunk Australian bros can see the benefits of mandatory voting. But for America, the good news is that voter turnout in 2020 is on track to hit record levels. All we needed to get people to vote was to elect Donald Trump. And then guess what? People turn up. We don't need to force people to vote. Well, that's a pretty big price to pay. I'd rather pay a $20 fine than have to put up with President Trump for four years. Touche, Judith. But hopefully one day, Americans will also learn to enjoy the sweet, sweet taste of democracy sausage as much as our drunk, vote-loving mates down under. Thank you.